Hello. In this session, we are going to look at an introduction to uh, cloud computing. So in the last session, we discussed about the different types of IT infrastructure that we have. So generally, we have the traditional IT infrastructure where we have all the physical resources. And then we have the cloud infrastructure where we basically make use of a service provider who provides us the uh, infrastructure all the resources in a virtualized form and then we as an end user we can uh, use those resources over the internet from anywhere we want all right in this session we will talk a bit more on your cloud infrastructure we'll understand what is cloud computing and how it works once again before we start off with this session please don't forget to hit the subscribe button so let's get started with this so cloud computing is the on-demand delivery of your IT resources, so basically the infrastructure resources and all of these resources will be provided over the internet. So all these resources are virtualized resources and all we need is a connection to the internet and we can start using these IT resources, the virtualized IT resources over the internet and it also provides you with a pay-as-you-go pricing. Now this pay as you go pricing means you're only going to pay for the resources that you're going to utilize. So we don't have to procure any resources. We don't have to pay any money beforehand. We are only going to pay for whatever the resources we are going to utilize. So cloud computing, it provides you with an on-demand access to all of the IT resources you need. And all of these resources will be provided over the internet. Now, the resources that we can get, we can get applications, we can get servers, we can get uh, storage, database, development tools, networking capabilities, and many more. And all of these resources will be available over the internet. And this will be hosted in a remote data center, which will be managed by a separate cloud service provider or the CSP. So basically, there will be a service provider here who will be providing all these resources for us over the internet now how does this uh, cloud infrastructure or your cloud computing work so basically we will have a cloud service provider and this cloud service provider will provide the services like your servers your database your storage your networking and many more components like your applications and more and all of these will be provided by the cloud service provider all right and we being the end users we can start accessing all of these resources the cloud service resources over the internet so we don't need any physical space for managing the infrastructure we know we don't need any data center or any on-premise data center all of these resources will be provided by the cloud service provider and all of these resources are virtualized all right so for us the end users we will be having like virtual machines virtual database virtual storage virtual networking and all of these resources will be available over the internet so we can access these resources from any part of the world from any location as long as we have the internet connectivity so instead of buying owning and maintaining the physical data centers and servers we can access all of these technology resources such as your computing power, your storage, your databases, your networking, anything on an as needed basis from a cloud provider like your Amazon Web Services or AWS. So with your cloud infrastructure, you don't have to own anything, you don't have to buy anything, you don't need to maintain any uh, physical data centers or any on-premise data centers. Everything will be provided by the cloud service provider for us. So the cloud service provider makes these resources available for us with a monthly subscription fee or it basically generates a bill based on the usage that we are doing on the resources on the respective cloud platform like in terms of aws based on the usage that we are doing on a monthly wise there will be an invoice generated and we'll have to basically pay that invoice so who is using this cloud computing now across the IT industry there are many people who are using this cloud computing for their day-to-day -day activities so organizations of every type size and industry are using the cloud for a variety of use cases it could be your data cap backup it could be your disaster recovery it could be your email notifications or setting up virtual machines or developing your softwares testing your softwares analyzing your data and developing any customer facing web applications anywhere you want you can utilize your cloud computing 
for example we can have your healthcare companies using this cloud to, de to develop more personalized treatments for patients we can have financial services using this cloud service to power real time fraud detection and prevention of these frauds we can also have video game makers who are using this cloud to deliver online games to millions of people around the world so we have lots of uh, 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 services lots of companies who are utilizing this cloud infrastructure to, to, to set up the infrastructure and use that infrastructure to develop the application to run the application and make these applications available to the end users all right so that's basically what your cloud computing is so once again cloud computing is uh, is an on demand service of your resources and there will be a cloud service provider involved over here and this cloud service provider will provide all the resources in terms of your infrastructure and we being the end users we can access these resources over the internet so these resources can be your servers your database your storage your networking your applications anything you want as part of your infrastructure everything will be available in the form of a virtualized resource and we can access this over the internet so that's basically your introduction to cloud computing that's all for this session thank you once again before you leave please don't forget to subscribe to the channel and if you like the video leave a like and please share the video